distinguished gathering at the Fishmongers Hall, headquarters of one of London's greatest livery companies, saw Earl Mountbatten honour a trawler captain. It was the annual presentation of the championship trophy. The proud recipient was Skipper Walter Lewis, who, said the first sea lord, fished 2,430 tons in 1957, a champion skipper indeed. It was an evening of presentations. The British Trawlers Federation presented to the Royal Naval College Dartmouth, Earl Mountbatten receiving on their behalf a model trawler. Sailing daily from Grimsby, Hull and Fleetwood are ships of the kind skippered by Walter Lewis. In Arctic waters off Iceland, Greenland and still further north, Iceland's capital Reykjavik is almost a home port to them, the trawler men catch well over half the total of fish consumed by Britain. But Iceland's government contemplates a law which may be a death blow to the industry, the extension of the four-mile limit to 12 miles. Hence, at Geneva, under United Nations authority, sits the International Conference on the Law of the Sea. Its object? To persuade Iceland and all countries in UNO to fix reasonable limits outside which the fishing vessels of any nation can operate. International politics seem a million miles away from the good hard life of the trawler men who bring the fish to our table. Yet if Iceland says no fishing within 12 miles of her coast, the trawler companies may go bankrupt or have to sell their fleets. Not even champion skippers can fill their holes except where the fish congregate in comparatively shallow sea. 12 miles out, the water's deep and there are fewer fish. The abundant catches on which the trawler industry depends will not go into British ships if the offshore limits are pushed out. Iceland, now being financed by Russia, can buy trawlers herself. English companies might even have to sell their vessels to her. So, as the fish comes to our shores from Arctic fishing grounds, to be auctioned on the spot at the ports, the men who bring it here fervently hope the conference at Geneva will produce the desired result. It would be a bleak day indeed for the housewife if no cod, place or haddock were on sale at Billingsgate or anywhere else. In the fishmonger's hall, as Walter Lewis was acclaimed champion skipper, all prayed that Iceland will not abandon the four-mile limit. Long may Lewis and men like him stock the larder of Great Britain.